Hi and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh, also known as Connection2005 on the XTA Developers Forum. Uh, today we'll be showing you how to modify the boot animation that flashes at startup on your phone. Uh, this particular series uh, is for ROMs that do accept boot animation.zip files. Uh, you should be able to read about that in your ROMs. Uh, your thread wherever you got the ROM from uh, and the change logs. Uh, this isn't supported on stock ROMs because stock ROMs use a QMF or a QMG or some other odd proprietary format that no one's really cracked. Um, so this is going to cover ROMs like Cognition, Perception, probably Exura, and a lot of other ROMs that do allow for different uh, boot animation.zip files. So without further ado, we'll get involved. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our phone. This is a cognition based ROM. Uh, it's one of the older ones that had the uh, <laughs> what became known as the creepy eye. So we're going to go ahead and install that. So obviously it's going to take a second. I just wanted to show that it does have the eye on here. Okay, so there's the eye. This is going to take another 45 seconds to a minute. I'm going to allow it to finish booting, uh, but obviously there's the original boot screen that we're starting with is the eye. And I'll show you what we're going to go to uh, here in just a moment. So I'll let you get caught up uh, with whatever you're doing, perhaps booting your phone and getting it ready, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, while the phone's booting up on my end, I want to go ahead and show you what, what is comprised in a boot animation.zip. You can actually create these things on your own. Uh, here's the one that we had originally. Uh, inside of it, we've got our different parts, uh, part 0, part 1. Um, you can actually see the PNG file that's inside there. Uh, normally, an animated one contains multiple PNGs where someone has taken a GIF or a movie and ripped it into a bunch of different PNGs and labeled them uh, you know, numerically to go down the list so the phone just constantly flashes them and creates the uh, animation so it's not actually a video playing and then there's always a desc.txt file that shows the uh, resolution so we can see there that we've got uh, 480 by 800 which is the Captivate and then we've got um, it shows you which file to play, part 0, part 1, and so on and so forth So. That's how the boot.zip is comprised. Um, go ahead and close these out and we'll get back over to the phone and talk about how to do this. Uh, this demonstration is using Root Explorer. Uh, I highly recommend that you download that app. If you really want to get into modding these phones, it's probably one of the most used apps for me when you really get down to modifying and replacing files, editing them. Uh, it's very useful. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the location of the boot animation.zip. It can be in a couple of locations, but on these ROMs, it's normally in the very root of the phone. Uh, first off, if you're using Red Explorer, make sure you mount Read Write for the directory that you're going to be using. Uh, but anyways, at the very home screen of Root Explorer, if you click Data, then Local, you'll see the boot animation.zip right there. Uh, so now at this time, we're going to go ahead and rename that to boot animation old.zip. So that way, it doesn't get in the way of what we're going to put there. Okay, at this time, you need to go ahead and mount the phone uh, to your computer and put the boot animation.zip on the, the local SD card. We've already done that. So we are going to go over there by going to SD card. And we can see our boot animation uh, DX fire. I've got to name something else right now. We're going to hold, say move and go all the way back to data then local and paste okay so it pasted the file by default the build props are set up to view it only for boot animation.zip so you will need to name it boot animation.zip so we'll erase the fire dx part say okay so now it's called boot animation.zip. So we're going to go to the home screen, and kill whatever we had going on there, and we're going to reboot the phone to show you the new boot animation. It's simply that it's it's that easy. So we're going to reboot. You can actually change the shutdown animation too, but no one really cares to. So give us a few moments. It's going to reboot as soon as I feel it vibrate. We're on the up and up.
Thank you for your patience. <laughs> There's the vibrate. I know this feels like an eternity. I can't speed that up. I could, but I'm not. So we'll see the AT&T World Phone splash screen, like always. You can actually mod that too. I may make a video of that. Um, but here shortly, we'll see the cool new animation and all its glory and beauty. So we've went with the Droid X on fire animation, and there it goes. Beautiful. So. As you can see, it's that easy to change the boot animation.zip. Be sure that your ROM allows for it. Don't try this if you're on a stock ROM. Uh, it's not going to understand what's going on because it's, it's all about the frameworks and the, the build.props supporting this type of, type of functionality. So anyways, that is how you modify your boot animation.zip for cool startups. I uh, appreciate you watching. Check us out at xtadevelopers.com, uh, Android Central. Uh, feel free to view some of my other videos if you have some time, and as always, good luck.